um, next topic, you, you sent me a piece that I thought was phenomenally eye-opening for me. Tell us what that piece was regarding teachers who are allowed to carry in schools. Who are they? How many are there? And tell us what the, what the results are of that. Right. Well, there are over a thousand school districts right now that currently have teachers carrying guns at school. And uh, we looked at all the school shootings, any type from an accident all the way up to mass public shootings from 2000 up through 2018. And uh, you just don't see shootings occurring in schools that have teachers caring. You know, there are two questions here. One is, is there, are there accidents that occur? You know, Bloomberg's group and whatever will say, well, it's a danger to students. There's not one case where students gotten a hold of a teacher's gun and done something wrong with it. There's not one case of a teacher accidentally shooting somebody. You know, and the other question is deterrence. Rather than having signs in front of schools that say this school is a gun-free zone, there's a sign that says selective st teachers at the school are armed and will use their guns to defend the students and themselves. Does that deter people? And the fact that you don't see one single attack at any of these schools during anything near school hours tells you that at least there's some evidence that they deter. And it's not just the quotes and the statements that we've had from these killers beforehand where, I mean, they're not stupid. They want to try to kill as many people as possible. And they know if they go to a place where people can't defend themselves or you only have, let's say, one armed guard who's readily identifiable and they'll kill that person first if they're going to do the attack. So what did I read it right that you said there not only have not been any accidents at these 1,000 school districts who are allowed to carry, there have been no mass shootings? There's been no mass shootings. There's been no attacks. There's, it, there's one attack by a gang fight at 2 a.m. at one of these schools, but there are no teachers around with guns in the parking lots at 2, 20 so, a.m. During school hours. Right where people are present, where students are present, and where you know, potential victims are there, there have been no attacks. No attacks. And, and, and no fatal accidents with guns. None, no injuries. No injuries. Right. No wow. injuries or that's deaths. A, that's, that's a staggering statistic that we, we don't, you know, love guns, hate guns. You want to protect our kids, right? When you have that kind of scorecard, and what happens in the, in the, the other school districts that are well, it's banning been, guns? Yeah. Well. You have two other types of school districts. You have ones that have resource officers or police officers and ones that don't. In both of those, they've been increasing over time. There are plenty of attacks that occur in schools that have resource officers that are there. The thing yeah, Parkland. is- Parkland, I'm thinking of the Parkland guy who ended up right. not entering the building. It's a much more difficult job if you're a guard there to be able to guard the place because you're in uniform. Mm -hmm. These killers know that you're the only person with the gun. Who are they going to attack first if they're going to do the attack? It's going to be that person because they know that once they kill that person, they're going to have free reign to go after others that are there.